Good morning, class. So our next candy, it's going to be a simple one, but we want to go ahead and learn some of the features. So I'm going to go ahead and teach you about Skittles. Um, so our goal is to make our candy look something like this. So let's go ahead and get going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new English unit, standard IPT, and I'm going to create that. From there, I'm going to go ahead and create a new sketch. I always pick the XY plane. I don't know why I'm partial to it. And then I'm going to not make a circle, not make an arc. I'm going to use an ellipse feature. Um, reason for that is because the Skittle is really an ellipse, not really a sphere. And I'm going to dimension. Um, I'm just going to dimension the major and minor radiuses. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from... Um, basically, there's two dimensions that it looks for. It either looks for the minor or the major. So what I discovered was that the height of a Skittle was 0.34. So I'm going to say equals 0.34, but I'm going to divide it by 2 since it's a radius. Um, I also discovered that the um, radius uh, this way, well, not the radius, but the length was 0.5. Hopefully you'll agree with me. Something about that seems a little off, but uh, yeah, we'll go with it. Oh, I think I know why. It has like kind of a little... All right, we're going to assume that's right. <laughs> All right, so then I'm going to go ahead and draw a line in the center. And I think hopefully you know why. Um, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this half. Um, hopefully you see my method and how I'm going to make the spherical shape. That's right, you guessed it, the revolve feature. So I'm going to click on the shape. So the profile is asking, what do you want to revolve? The axis is saying, about which line do you want to revolve it? I want to revolve it about that. And there we go. There's my Skittle. Wow, amazing. All right, so it's not so amazing because one of the things I got to do is I got to go ahead and put the little S on it. Um, so even now I could go ahead and change its color. So why don't we go with a, uh, a green one? I don't even know which green I used on the last one, but um, sometimes I just search. Actually, you know what? I'll teach you guys this feature. Sometimes what I do is I select this and then I just go ahead and try to find a shape so I select the part, and then I select the color. Uh, no, a little darker. So what I could do is I could grab this little um, rectangle and start moving it around so it's the green, the shade of green I like. Sure, I like that. And then I'll click the checkbox. OK, now let's go ahead and make the little S, and then we're done with it, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a plane that's offset. Um, which is it going to be offset from? Well, it's going to be offset from here. So I'm going to drag it up. And it doesn't really matter how far up you drag it. You'll notice that I just kind of arbitrarily dragged it up. So sure, that's good enough. Off here, off this new sketch that I just created, I'm going to start a sketch. And I'm going to go ahead and put text on there. Um, so I'll just draw a box that's roughly how big I want it. And you'll notice that it tells me I just want an S for now. Um, why don't we make it? Ooh, I didn't measure this, so I'll grab my dial calipers. It's roughly 0.225 tall. So I'll type that. I want it to be white text. And you notice I highlighted it before I changed the text. And I'm going to stay with Tahoma, although you can pick a different style. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, I'm going to move it around. I could probably make it a little smaller, but I think that looks pretty good. It's probably a little over-exaggerated. Um, the S probably is upside down, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I, maybe that's just me being crazy, but it feels like it's upside down. Um, but I'm going to go with it. So now I have this S that's hanging out there, and I want to bring it down here. The problem is I can't really bring the test, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of fake it with the emboss. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the profile, so that's the S. I want to go ahead and project it the opposite direction. I want to bring it onto the part. And I want to make it a depth. So embossing is like adding depth to it. And I'm going to make it something really small. Um, I don't know how small I can go, but let's see. And I want to make sure it's white. Um, so I know white is somewhere on here. Um, coarse textured white, sure. And there it is. Um, kind of don't like the way it looked. I tried some new stuff on this one, so let me go ahead and mess around with it. I could always go here and right click on it. 
I'm going to select a different white. Um, I did it on my last, <laughs> on my practice, but now I kind of forgot which one I selected. Um, let's go with smooth white. Go OK. And let's see if we could go even less so it doesn't bump out as much. And yeah, I'm happier with that. All right, so I'm going to turn off my work plane. There we go. And now I have my Skittles. Unbelievable. I'm going to go ahead and put it into a realistic mode. I always like to do this stuff for funsies. I like to give it shadows. Um, I probably don't like the text that much, but we're going to go with it. Um, uh, just because conceptually, I don't want to make this video long. And then I always like to make the part, you know, revolve around to show off to people. Whoops, I clicked the wrong button. You might be asking how I'm making it swirl. I'm holding the shift key down while rotating. And you'll notice that if I just click it again, I'll stop it. Okay. So again, I'm holding shift and then I just rotate and then I just let go and then it rotates in whatever direction I was rotating. Wow. Amazing Skittles. Okay, cool. Hope you liked it.